All right, well, I'm trying to get the dump trailer raised up to put the safety stops in position so that I'm working on those battery connections. Uh, but the battery's dead. That's as far as it'll go. Let's see if this NOCO boost can help us out. Everybody, what's up? Jess here, Arrow JM Farms. And as you can see, I just uh, redid my battery cables here. And I'll talk about the crimper that I used here in just a second. Uh, just wanted to show you a better style terminal. And that is these right here. Even better are these mil spec. I had these uh, and I was gonna use those, but I had these laying on the shelf, so I decided to go ahead and use those up. Uh, still better than this style here which is just the clamp style that uh you always see it's kind of a quick fix and uh i think these have been causing a lot of my problems that i've been having with this so I put these on here i know this will be a lot better and uh but the thing you have to do with these 
or the mil spec style is you have to crimp lugs on your battery cables and then uh, you, you put those on a stud. So a lot better system in my opinion. And I'll talk about the crimper and maybe a few other tools that uh, you might need. So I went over, showed you the mil spec style. Um, what I've been putting on here is a uh, deoxid battery cleaner and protectant. I had really good luck out of this stuff. Uh, it'll help keep your battery uh, studs uh, from uh, corroding. And when you're working with the battery cable, this stuff's pretty heavy. So you're gonna need some type of special cutter. Uh, like I said, I'm, I've been in, in the industrial trade, uh, electrical trade for a while. And so I've kind of accumulated some electrical tools. And uh, that's what these are. Just a heavy gauge wire cutter. Uh, don't necessarily have to get this brand. There's a lot out there. I like Klein's pretty good also. They have a good set that's probably uh, pretty reasonably priced. And then the crimper set, uh, let's talk about it. So here is the Timco uh, crimper that I just used. And this is the TH0006 model. What's really nice about this is it has a spring loaded handle. So one handed operation, really nice. Before this, I had the Dialis crimper and it worked, um, but it just didn't leave as good of a looking crimp and it actually flattened out uh, the crimps on the sm really small wire, it flattened them out a whole lot. So I sent that back and uh, was, I was within the return period and uh, upgraded to the dyed crimper. Now I've used Dialis and dyed crimpers a lot in the past. Um, I've been an industrial electrician for years, but so I'm, I'm familiar with them on the industrial side. Um, for the homeowner and homesteader DIYer, this is a, an affordable option. It really makes nice crimps. And what's cool about this one is it has half sizes. So on the positive side, you may have seen there, uh, I had four gauge wire, or yeah, number four wire. And so I went with the number four die but that actually ended up being a little bit too small. And you run into that on your uh, on all these lugs. This is just a set of lugs that I got off of uh, Amazon. So probably made in China if I looked around on here a whole lot. Uh, I'm sure it says on there somewhere. Yep, made in China. So there's some variability in those. Uh, some may have a thicker wall on the outside or a thinner wall, vice versa. This allows you to account for that uh, pretty good with these half size dies. So, like I said, I went with the, the straight number four on my first crimp, and I noticed that on each edge where this die comes together, it left little nipples sticking out there. That's what I call them. But, and so it didn't make as good of a looking crimp. So, I knew then that I had just a slightly off size die. So I, I put the four plus die in, which opened it up just a little bit. It was just like a half size up. Tried that one on my negative side and that made a really nice looking crimp. That was dead on perfect. And so not every system out there has these half size dies, but I know that this Timco does. And so far I'm really happy with it. So if you're in the market for a die, die crimper, highly recommend this one. One handed operation with that spring lever there gonna be making up a lot of battery cables. It seems like I'm always working on my battery cables, uh, redoing battery cables or whatnot. Uh, this has come in really handy. So just wanted to show you that real quick, talk about it. And uh, so far I'm really happy with it. And I think you would be too. Anyhow, that's it for this one. Thank y'all for uh, checking out the video, checking out the channel. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.